This is an eyelash comb. It's much more than a grooming tool for us humans. It's a rather unconventional cat toy. Yes, you heard that right. Now let me show you. Now in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this hidden cat toy. I'll go through its design, what we like, what we dislike, and finally, we'll give it a score and see where it ends up on our toy score comparison chart. Anyway, I'm Ashley and let's get into it. First off, let's talk about the design. This eyelash comb has a thin plastic handle, which if you have cats like us, means it's great for throwing and easy for cats to pick up and hold in their mouth for a game of fetch. At the end is a flexible brush that is good for mimicking the texture of prey. Cats love toys that resemble the feel of feathers or fur, and that brush does a good job at that. Now, as that eyelash comb is extremely lightweight, it's very easy to flick around, and as the brush is quite grippy, it will occasionally catch on the cat's fur, causing it to move unexpectedly. This adds an extra element of surprise and excitement during playtime, keeping your cats engaged, and it encourages their predatory instincts. Different flooring will help vary play. On harder floors, it will skip across the surface, and the added noise will help them to attract it. Whereas on carpet or rugs, the brush will stick to the fibers, making it less agile. However, this can also add to the randomness for your cats. Now, you're probably wondering how we came across this. Well, Bet loved watching Kaylee do her makeup, especially brushes. After Kay had some false eyelashes applied, she brought home a couple of small eyelash combs. One evening, Bear made her way into Kay's makeup bag and found one of her favorite toys, the eyelash comb. Evidently, Bear thought these were designed for her. Despite our attempts to take them away, Bear claimed them as her own, opening drawers and bags just to get at them. From then on, the eyelash comb became Bear's favorite toy, bringing her hours of joy. Now, before we can get into the scoring, just a quick reminder to like this video if you're enjoying it so far. Your support makes a massive difference to small content creators like us. Here are three things that we like about the toy. It's great for a game of fetch. The pinging noise of the plastic and hard floor helps our cats track where it's gone. Two, during playtime, the brushing gets stuck on their fur, making them roll and run around, adding to the fun. Equally, in the process, this can help to remove loose fur, helping to prevent hairballs. We also found that our first cat bear used to enjoy chewing on it, which helped keep her teeth clean. Three, they're super cheap to buy. We bought 300 for a tenner. Okay, on to three things we don't like about the toy. One, they will need to be cleaned fairly regularly as they pick up fur and dirt easily. Two, we're forever losing ours under furniture and the darker colored ones makes them quite hard to spot. Three, it's not a cat toy, so it doesn't have any extras like bells or catnip to attract cats. Okay, let's score this toy and see how it compares on our toy comparison list. So for style, depending on the color you buy, they're pretty neutral around the home, so it gets a five out of 10. For engagement, our cats love playing with them, but not as much as the spring or the finger trap, so it gets a 7 out of 10. For quality, they've lasted pretty well so far, so they get an 8 out of 10. For safety, they're not specifically designed as a cat toy, but we've never had any issues, so it gets an 8 out of 10. For attraction, our cats initiate play themselves, even bringing them to us to start off a game of fetch. However, we found they get lost pretty easily, so it gets a 7 out of 10. For cleanliness, the brushes pick up dirt very quickly, but they're also easy to clean, so it gets a 5 out of 10. This gives the eyelash comb a score of 40 out of 60, positioning it well on our chart, just behind similar flick toys like the spring and finger trap. So, should you buy it, save it for later, or just simply ignore it? Well, given how much our cats enjoy playing with it, and how cheap they are, I'd say buy it. But go for a solid colour, as the see-through ones are harder for your cats to find and track. What toys do your cats find fun and engaging? Let us know in the comments which ones we should be reviewing next. Give the video a like if you found the video useful, and subscribe if you'd like to see similar content. Links are in the video description for everything we've mentioned. YouTube thinks you'll like this video on the left, and alternatively, here's a link to the last video. Thank you for watching, and see you soon!